Yes, viewers, it is time to listen to God's word. Those who are with us here on Zoom, it is time to listen to God's word. God's word is spirit and life, and it has the ability to quicken us spiritually. It has the ability to give us life. God's word is spirit and life. It is food for our soul. God's word is a lamp for us. It is a guide for us. So we need to listen to God's word because God speaks to us through his word and by his spirit. God speaks to us through his word and by his spirit. So open your heart to receive the word of God. Wherever you are, turn with me. Let us go to the book of John. Let us go to the book of John. The book of John, chapter 14. The book of John chapter 14, let us take our reading from verse 23. Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Verse 24. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the words that you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. People on Zoom, do you love God? Do you love Jesus? Yes. Do you love Jesus? Yes, we when do. When we ask the question, do you love when you ask anyone, do you love Jesus? They are eager to say they love Jesus. Everyone today will tell you how much they love Jesus. But Jesus Christ is saying here, he said those who love him are those who keep his commands. Those who love Jesus are those who obey what he has spoken to us through his word and by his spirit. Do you love God? Do you love Jesus? Do you act on what Christ has spoken or do you act based on your own desire, on your own feelings? When you come face to face a situation and you do not know what to do, are you able to act on what Christ has spoken or are you going to follow the decision of the mass? If you are in an environment where everyone, they are doing things which go against the word of Christ, are you going to be the difference? Are you going to stand out and say, no, I am not going to follow the mass. I am not going to conform to the mass. Do you love Jesus? It is easier to say with the mouth that I love Jesus. In your heart, is Jesus the Lord of your life? Is Jesus reigning over your life? As we have just read in the book of John, that those who love Jesus keeps his command. What is command? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love the, the Lord your God with all your might and with all your strength. Do you love your neighbor as you love yourself? If you love your neighbor as you love yourself, why are you still keeping grudges? Why are you still holding offense onto your neighbor? Why are you holding offense against someone who wronged you years ago? Jesus Christ, even at the point of death, he released forgiveness. He said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Even when he was brutally murdered, he was humiliated, pierced, chastised for our sake, he still loved us. So if you claim to love Jesus, you must act on what he has spoken. You must do what Christ has told you to do by his word, through his spirit. 
What is Christ telling you to do today? Many of us, we have so many riches. We have so many things in our fridge. Whereas someone next door to us has nothing. We go to church every morning, we pray, expecting the miracles, yet we refuse to allow ourselves to be a tool, an instrument of miracle in someone else's life. God has no hands, but our hands to do his work. He has no legs, but our legs to go to places to meet those who are in need. Jesus Christ will not come down earth again to bless someone. He is going to use those who are around to bless them. Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you act on his word? If you find it difficult for your prayers to get answered, you need to start looking into your relationship with God. You pray, you pray, you pray, you seem not to get an answer. Look into your relationship with God. Something is missing. And that is His word dominating your life. His word dominating your heart. His word dominating every activity that concerns you. Jesus says, if His word abides in you, and you abide in him, whatever you ask shall be given unto you. If his words abide in you, and you, you abide in his word, whatever you ask shall be given unto you. So now the question is, are you acting on what God has spoken? Are you living for his word? We are here today to receive from Christ. But are we actually giving anything back to Christ? What are you giving to Christ? Many people, they wake every morning. They pray, they pray, they pray. For God to give them something. Yet, they themselves do not give anything back to God. Giving to God is not all about our offerings or our tithes. Giving to God is allowing God to use our faculties to express himself. <laughs> Giving to God is allowing God to use our faculties to bless others, to work through us. So if you want God to work in your life, his word must dominate you. His word must dominate your thoughts. His word must dominate everything that has to do with you. Acting on God's word makes Jesus Christ truly real to the believer. Acting on his word will bring Jesus Christ on the scene when you pray, when you call upon him. If you love Jesus, keep his command. If you love Jesus, act on his word. I know you all want us to go into prayer. But the thing is, when you receive your deliverance, when you receive the miracle that you have been hoping for, when you receive your healing, are you going to maintain it? Many in the past, they've been healed. They've been delivered. But now today, they find themselves in the same circumstances. They find themselves in the same situation. Why? Maintenance. It is easy to get. Are you able to maintain? To maintain what you will receive today from Christ. You will have to dwell in his word. It is Christ's word that gives us the ability to maintain what we have received from him. So if you have come here today just to receive and to go back to your life, you are merely wasting your time. Because you will receive. 
But when you now lose what you have received today, that we say something worse might happen to you. So it is better not to receive than to receive and lose it. If you love Jesus, keep his word. Keep his command. I pray that God Almighty will give you the grace to act on his word, to obey his word, to do what he has told you to do by his word through his spirit. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' mighty name.